Good evening. Welcome to Paradise Botany. I'm Colin McIntosh. And I'm Aaron Somerville. We're here today for the Sky City Stampede against the Botany Swarm. It's going to be a big one today. Judging by the uh, the way the, the teams played last time in Queenstown, it's going to be a physical match. Oh, I I expect some of that too. Yep, yep. It's good good rivalry. I, look, I'm expecting some good hockey tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, the Swarm coming off a uh, split weekend last week uh, and obviously trying to give the Stampede their first loss of yeah. the season. Um, it'll, it'll be interesting because the Stampede have yet to play on a full Olympic ice this year. Uh, we were talking about that before yeah. the game. Yeah, will that be a factor? I don't think so. I don't think they, they, they're big boys. They're yeah. well conditioned. But uh, this is Botany's home yeah. ice. Um, probably a bit of an advantage. Mm -hmm. And from playing here the last five years, our first period here is always a struggle. Just so adjusting, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so absolutely. If, the, if, if the Swarm can, can attack the first 10, 15 minutes, I think you'll see a, a good game for the Botany Swarm. Game. Yeah. yeah. But um, if you guys haven't seen last weekend's highlights, we're going to pull them up. This is the Devils against the Swarm. They split. Some good highlights coming up. underway and we're off so the swarm definitely need these guys to keep working hard a very high skill unit there with hopkins and Janssen. and then you, there's a shot right on big save mawson he'll scan give it right back to poles off why not a little back and forth action and finally a turnover looking for chris eden who had a break and then turned over at the blue line and here come the red devils the other way trying to catch a swarm on a change to Joe Orr, he shoots it, and oh! Joe Orr puts the Red Devils on the board, and it's 1-0. Yeah, the Swarm giving the puck up cheaply there in the offensive zone, and the Red Devils just coming the other way hard. And Joe Orr sticking that one home. That's 1-0. Great finish right there, and a way to turn that up the ice quick by the Red Devils. They had it at their own blue line, and in a second, they were already putting the pressure on Canada. And then played up the wall. Now, knock back down. Here's a centering feed. Shot and a goal! Matheson Graham gets it on a one-timer, and just like that, it's 2 nothing Red Devils. Yeah, the Swarm look a little bit in disbelief at the moment. Two early goals. They're going to have to try to get back into this as Vordanov's showing uh, dishing out some dinner invites to Lowe on the other side as he's not happy with something. But, hey, two quick goals here, Joel. That the physical player and it squirts out to Kozak Kozak going one on three and it comes out to Hopkinson Hopkinson with the seam he shoots and just misses well, and then back to Hay we'll go up the wall towards Janssen and it's played into the zone no offside here and there's Dalimar over to Eden Eden all alone in front and he scores Chris Eden makes it three nothing Red Devils yeah, great play there, Chris Eden finding Delimore. In my opinion, Delimore probably should have shot, but he did give it to Chris Eden and didn't control it nicely at, on, first, at the, on the first attempt, but managed to get a shot off. And if I'm the coach of the Swarm, I'm thinking a goalie change already here, Doc. So here's Thuler has it. Again, Eden intercepts it. Now Eden with some room shot, and he just missed wide. Janssen again, wraparound try, but carries there with the pad. Now up to Kozak, a shot and a big save by Carey. It's quite a common name, if you will. <laughs> so apologies to Eddie. And here's Bradley Apps here for the Red Devils. Puts it on, big save, rebound, uh -oh. and a goal! Joe Orr with his second of the night, and it is four to nothing, Red Devils. Uh-oh, start ringing the alarm bells. Four goals in the first period. The Devils are red hot here tonight at the Hive Dock. It's almost becoming a too steep of a mountain for the Swarm to get back. It is still very early, but... But instead it's Ollie Hay. So here come the Swarm with some speed. Hey, he'll play it up to Kozak. Kozak into the zone. Kozak looking for centering feed. Gets it to Hopkins and throws one towards the net. Trying to go top. Cheddar again, but missed it all together to get this back on track and we're underway here in this second period the goalie definitely wants to stay out there and try to do things a bit better but personally i would have changed here's a shot or for the hat trick he scores joe or goes top shelf and it is five 
nothing. Red Devils three, courtesy of Orr. And we're now getting a goalie change finally here, Doc, as Grace Harrison will be going in. In my opinion, should have come on after the third goal was scored, but nonetheless, she comes in in a 5-0 deficit here now. He'll play it up for Ollie Hay, back to Mawson, give and go here with some speed. Mawson, back door shot right on, and a save! As now over to Hay, Hay with a little bit of a crease, goes back door for Sandoy, oh. he tried to get it to puck it, and now Vortnoff with another shot, doesn't quite get through, puck is still loose, and then played to the near wall, and finally hit off the boards and out by the Red Devils. Josh Lowe. And there's a shot right on. Rebound was loose, but nicely cleared away there by Nichols. Action going here. And there's a big save by Carey on the near wall. He has looked sharp on his end. And another chance, a big backhand by Janssen. And once again, Carey stands tall and will cover that one up by the Red Devils. Currently being outshot, but not where it matters. Here it's comes Eden. Eden, turnover in the middle. Eden all alone. And he's unable to get a shot off. Great back check there by Winston Lee. Otherwise, Eden was looking for another one. Great to see him back skating out there. And here's a turnover again. The other way. Shot right on and a big save by Grace Harrison. A will leave it here for Tuller. Tries to get around Orr, but a nice play by Orr to knock him off the puck. And they're still jostling for position. And then a shot right on. Again, a shot to go! Bradley Epps in the wide open net, and it is six, nothing Red Devils. What are the Swarm doing, Doc? They're just trying to play too casual in their own end. They did that at the start of the game, and they paid two, three goals for it, and they're still trying to do it. What, what? are they doing? They are turning over the puck in their own end. That is a consistent theme you, of this game for the Swarm. You've got to learn from it. Canterbury Red Devils will be taking this game here tonight to stop the Swarm from taking their uh, third posse on the ladder. A lot to play for. They know it. There's Apps. Throws one through. Gets in. A shot. to save. Rebound. Goal! With two seconds left, the Canterbury Red Devils add to their lead, making it 7-0. fans on their feet and getting loud. Yeah, here's Hopkinson, tries to get something, a shot off, but couldn't, as Janssen will pick it up. He's going to the net and scores! Kyle Janssen going to the net hard and deking the goalie and putting it in between the legs of Carey. As there was some good real estate to shoot at, if he could have. Here's Andy Hay again, shoots and leaves it behind, and here comes an easy goal for the Devils. Scores! Sean Brown. He won't get one easier than that. All right, sorry about that. If you were watching, that game ended up 9-2. But we're uh, about ready for puck drop here in Botany. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. But, uh, no, we have a game to show you tonight. Yep. Botany Swarm, Sky City Stampede. I have to admit, Colin, that's a bit of a mouthful, Sky City Stampede. Oh, it is. S -s 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 um, but, yes, uh, the undefeated, the juggernauts of the NZIHL every every season without fail they are in first place and they're um, what were we saying 35 game winning streak yeah 35 games straight that is an NZIHL record that is still going yeah and who long who knows how long it goes for but um, it's going to be a record that is going to be hard to beat <laughs> even for the stampede <laughs> Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, we pick up play in the corner. Alex pulls off. Sharp angle shot there. Uh, low percentage, but, you know, uh, getting the shot on net. Early shots on goal. That's always. right. That's right. Um, if you watched the uh, the Stampede game, you, 
you would have known that I comment a lot on Polozov's usage. You see him out there right now with Atwell and Vortnov, so yeah. we'll see if that uh, Changes. gives the Swarm a little spark. It is a strong first line. Oh, yeah. um, but uh, it didn't do him any favors last week. Um, is oh, yeah, we got Atwell back on the ice, eh? Okay, yes, back from injury, I think. Or maybe he's just working, who knows. Uh, yes, folks, um, as professional as these players are, they do have day jobs. Um, yeah, nine to fives. Nine to fives, indeed. All right, face off here in the stampede end. It gets ringed around D to D. Uh, Freer, or no, excuse me, that was Burns. Up to McRae, he was look. Oh, oh, he's looking for McRae. Goes for icing. Tuller back to make sure that gets called. Forty uh, seconds in, we got two icings already. Well, it's good pressure by the swarm. Yeah. Um, we were saying that uh, you know maybe the the large ice is going to be an advantage here for the swarm, and uh, maybe they are going to try and uh, take advantage earlier on. All right, D to D around the. The half wall here, it looks to the middle, it gets deflected up and into the netting and we will have a face off. You'll see Mawson's playing D again this weekend? Yeah, it was um, like confusing, honestly, because uh, <laughs> he was defense on the score sheet and uh, then he was center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that threw me, but he's a big body. Uh, I, oh it yeah. Was, it's probably a smart play. Um, I, I, if I'm being uh, critical of Mawson, he probably needs to use his frame more. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got the skating, he's got the, the shot, he's got the hands. Indeed, he's It's got just it. putting it all together. That's right, that's right. All right, Stampede with the puck up to the point. It's kept in by McRae. He walks in, takes a shot, deflected uh, Kennedy with the save. And it's not cleared. And Harrison with the shot. Kennedy gobbles that up. And Kennedy is another one who's looking to bounce back after last game. Indeed, I'm sure he's, yes, looking for a better start. Uh, he's already made two saves now, uh, which was uh, better than last Sunday. So hopefully he's not watching the replay. He's going to give it to me, I'm sure. All right, Stampede, attempted sharp angle. Shot goes around, back up to the point. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Amston with the shot. Goes into the corner, behind the net, collected by the Swarm. Uh, Commons up for uh, Pocket. He loses the Pockets turned over into the neutral zone. It comes. We got here um, Skipper. Making a season debut tonight. Oh, nice. Uh, all right. Puck cleared. Back to Burns with the stampede. He gives it up. And it's dumped in behind Harris. Oh, excuse me, Harrison. Kennedy. Uh, D to D, that was Ollie Hay off to, I can't quite see the number. I'm going blind uh, in my old age here, Colin. That is one of the um, the tappins. Oh, there we go. Yep, yep. All right, Atwell chasing the puck behind the net. Attempted center is picked up by Burns. He spins off a check, dumps it back for his partner who goes up the boards. Uh, looking to get it out, uh, and it does. Uh, Freer, block shot there by... Can't see by a swarm player anyways. Uh, Ollie Hay rings it around, looking for Polis off. Polis off, picks it up. Nice outlet pass to Vortnoff, who busts in the zone. Oh, uh, backhand pass to Atwell, who dumps it into the corner, cycles the puck. And, uh, oh, Vo uh, excuse me, uh, Polis off with a great play, comes out from the corner and feeds it to, uh, who was that uh, defenseman there? Remy. Remy Sandoy, um, and was it is it Brooks? Yeah, Aston Brooks in that yeah. tonight. Makes a nice save there. That was probably his uh, first big shot of the night there, right? And that right there is just the evidence of the uh, the big ice does make a difference. You are seeing the, the Swarm take advantage of that. And Stampede kind of getting lost in their D zone. A little bit. Let's not read too much into it, though. Uh, they are a team that, oh, oh look at this. Uh, Janssen sneaking in behind the D, uh, takes a shot. Brooks makes an easy save, yeah. or makes it look easy anyways. Yeah, the way he's played so far this year, if he sees it, he's stopping it. 
Um, he hasn't lost a game, no. so um, good for him. It's working. Yeah, it's working. All but right, face off here to the right of Brooks, and off to the races goes Kozak, and we will reset. Hopkinson with the win, and it goes to Kozak along the goal line. He's looking for the centering feed to Hopkinson, but it gets deflected up high. It comes back to Hopkinson, blocked by Amston, and it goes up into the netting, and we'll have another face-off. Richie and Amston, a bit of a foot difference there. <laughs> uh, they're having a conversation. Steph is a big boy. How's the weather up there? Uh, all right, so face-off to the left of Brooks here. Who do we got? Uh, Whiston Lee, and who's the face-off there for the Stampede? Josh Hurley. Josh Hurley. Uh, win for the Swarm? I missed. I was looking up his number there, but uh, was, give that a tie, I'd say. Oh, hit there by Josh Whiston Lee, but the puck is cleared. Oh, and um, uh, Skipper gives chase, and the puck is cleared out of the swarm zone. It comes back in. Uh, Luke Simon cross D to Andrew Hay, the captain. Andrew goes up the middle to uh, Max Hill, who tips it into the. Stampede end, and out they come. Mitchell Freer, backhand up to uh, the other Freer, who takes it into the corner. It's cleared around the net. Remy Sandoy there to clean it up, and he clears it into the neutral zone. Uh, Freer back up over the blue line goes McRae, it looks like. Over to Freer in the middle, and he's checked off the puck. McRae calling for it. He's looking for the pass, takes the shot, and Canada sticks the leather out. Nice patience there by uh, McRae. Yeah, you, you, you give McRae six feet, it's going to make a play. Uh, nine well, times he had out of a ten. few options there the uh, cross ice pass or the shot. He decided to shoot, and Canada had to make a nice save there. All right, face off win by the Swarm. Sandoy to Ollie Hay this time. Ollie looking up for Polozov. And he does not get it. It comes back to the Swarm defense. Sandoy over the blue line, dumps it in and gives chase. Oh, and he gets a lucky bounce. And it's Polozov uh, getting denied there. Doesn't get the shot to the net. And we've got a break. Uh, McCarg. Oh. And comes in, skates around the defenseman and around Canada and throws it into a gaping cage, folks. It that is one nothing Stampede. That is a play I see Max try and practice every single day, so not surprised that that paid off for him. What a great individual effort there by, is it, it's McCarg? Yeah, Max McCarg. He's, he's had a very good start to the season. He's at a goal game pace. Indeed. Um, I went down to the score sheet for just a moment to see who it was and it was in the net when I looked back up. That's how <laughs> quick uh, that happened, folks. Uh, great play. All right. Uh, Puck is back in the swarm end. Down one nothing. five minutes into this game. If, uh, you're, if you're joining us right now from the, uh, the Red Devils game, it's 2-2 two -two in that game. 2-2, two -two. okay. Just scored here, Max McCog. This right here is a matchup to watch out for. When, when we played two weekends Thuler ago, McCog. Thuler and Connor Harrison. Oh, right, both, right. Both guys love playing physical. Yep. They, they probably threw a dozen hits each each game. So. Both great skaters, too. Yeah. Um, and a shout out to anybody or everyone, excuse me, not anybody, everyone uh, listening to us on the live stream. Hopefully we've got some international viewers here as well. I've passed on the link, so hopefully they are listening. Shout out to everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, every, everybody back in God's country watching in. That's right. That's right. <laughs> At 3, 4 a.m., whatever <laughs> yeah. it is, depending what part of the country you are in. All right, Stampede. Uh, go offside. Um, McCarg again, uh, gathering speed through the neutral zone. Uh, he was gone and had that not gone offside. Um, That's a play that you hate as a player. Uh, Skating it in. It your your wingers just couldn't... Uh, Hold up. Wait for me, boys. <laughs> yeah. You one job, one job. All right. Uh, puck it, picks it up, skates it in, uh, loses it, but Whiston Lee with the shot, and it's deflected out. Luke Simon 
going far side to Tom Tappen. Uh, he tries to clear, but Freer keeps it in. Luke Simon behind the net. He goes off to the half boards to Commons. Commons trying to clear it, but it's kept in. Great check there by uh, Callum Burns. And the puck eventually finds its way into the neutral zone. And offside go the Swarm. They're exchanging offsides. Both players showing frustration. Throwing their hands up. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, shaking the head. Sorry, sorry. It's a fast game, folks. Uh, sometimes you just can't react fast enough. Or if you're like me, you can't skate. So you can't stop. But anyway, oh, look at that shot. Um, had that been on that, that could have uh, been, uh, been yeah. yeah. But nope. Uh, Brooks knows what he's doing. Smart play by uh, Ollie Hay dumping it in. Not a smart play by Callum Burns <laughs> screening his goalie from a, a blue line shot. <laughs> Have, having that addition of Ollie Hay this weekend, I'm, I'm sure that'll make a, a positive addition for the Swarm. He um, He's a physical player. Um, and he is good for at least one end-to-end -end run a yeah. game. At least one. Um, Without a doubt, he's got some of the most raw talent for a, a Kiwi-born player. Absolutely, absolutely. We well, spent some time over, so, and, and speak of the devil, he ices it. Oh, but no, Polozov is there to negate it. Uh, checking him in the corner is Mitchell Freer. And uh, McRae tried to get it up to the neutral zone. It's picked up and dumped back in by Atwell. Polozov given chase. Uh, it comes along the half boards. Freer dumps it up into the middle. Mawson looking to... Uh, We'll clear it. He gives it right back, and the puck comes into the uh, swarm end. Fortinoff again trying to clear, and it eventually comes out. Tuller on, oh, given chase, but nope. Oh, we turned yeah. the puck over there. Amston saw the defenseman barreling down on him. Oh. Okay. All right. There, and the bodies are starting to fly, folks. Uh, Tuller with the behind the. Uh, uh, Whatever, with a great pass to Hopkinson and a great save by Brooks, uh, who had to look sharp there. And Stampede coming back. Freer takes it into the corner, throws it behind the net. Uh, Kozak there, picks it up, goes back to the other corner. Nobody there. Um, That's Cam True. Picks True up the puck. picks up the puck. Kept in by Harrison. Still in, folks, still in. Harrison on, and we've got a penalty coming up here. Looks like a high stick. There you go, Harrison on Thuler. There you go. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, just a battle there for the puck, and Thuler ends up with a stick in the face. And Her uh, was it Harrison? Yes. Yeah, Connor Harrison. If you rewind 30 seconds, I'm not sure if it was Janssen or if it was Kozak making that back backwards pass that's to, right. to Kozak. Yes. I'm not going to lie, I thought that was a guaranteed goal. I thought that it was, was, and Brooks did not. Brooks living up to wow. his name. Wow, wow. That was an amazing behind the, I want to say behind the back, right? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Then a, a fun little tidbit. Ollie Hay played for the South, South Shore Kings, as did Jacob Ratcliffe. That's where oh. Jack, Jack Roby's going there next oh, month. Oh, right. So that, that could become a uh, I did Kiwi not hotspot. know that. See, um, I'm from Ottawa. I thought... Ollie played for the, I want to say the some junior version of the Senators as well. He did. In Ottawa. Him and Ratcliffe also played some sort of academy or something in Canada. Right. Which a lot of the younger players are doing right now. You yeah. have Jacob Carey, Axel Rusky Jones, Joel Patterson's heading there in a yep. month. Yeah. Tallulah Bryant, oh, Katya, wow. Br okay. Katya Blong. So it's a lot of good players that's coming right. up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. I, I only knew about. Two of those, yeah. but then you have C.J. Kemp and uh, Jack Roby head into the USPHL. Wow! Yeah, so it's wow a lot of good things for okay. the youth. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess things have over. You know, um, COVID has probably stopped a lot of that. You know, uh, even us getting imports coming over here. Um, while we've been chatting, I've noticed that the form, uh, Swarm are on the power play here, uh, but haven't been able to muster much up. And not enough for us to actually yeah. stop yapping, and, and uh, they've put themselves offside, and come on, Swarm. What's it's very going on here, it was boys? very sloppy. I think the, our little chat might have been more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you tell us, folks. You <laughs> tell us. But like, uh, like it was two weeks ago, need to see that possession from the Swarm. If they can get the zone, use that space, get the box moving, get some shots, the, anything can happen. Oh, there we go. They're good with the shots. Like, they put up, f even in that 9-2 to two loss, they had 50 shots yeah. on net, you know, but... Um, they're struggling for quality shots, you know? Quality and getting getting traffic. Tim Carey saw nearly every shot last week. That's why he stopped him. All right. Swarm with the win. Mawson walks it in. Snapper and blocked and stick <laughs> ejected from his hands uh, trying to get the puck back there. Tuller back to Mawson. Mawson crosses the blue line, drops, fake drops it, takes it to the corner. Comes back up to the half boards, passes to Tuller on the high uh, point. Tuller with the shot. Uh, no traffic in front, and Brooks smothers that one. As a penalty killer, that's what you love. As, a, co as a coach on a team with the power yeah. play, you hate those. What are you doing? Well, you like the shot on goal, but you don't like the shot with no traffic. That's right. That's right. And it's a hard trade off, right? Um, because I think what I'm seeing is they're playing the umbrella, right? Yeah. Um, so you, you should have traffic. You got two guys in front of the net. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, that would be fr uh, frustrating. All right, Tuller bringing it in. Drop for Mawson. Mawson back to Kozak. Uh, Common, excuse me. It goes through the crease in the air, and it's batted into the corner, and we will have a glove hand pass, which will take the face off outside the zone. Well, that's unfortunate. That finishes off the power play as well. So you, you're getting one team that's happy with what just happened, another team that might be a little bit frustrated about that power play. You got your shots, you got your, your zone time, but it wasn't the, the cleanest. Uh, and ultimately, I don't know, was there, I don't know that there was one shot on net. I'm just looking at the sco uh, shot clock. Uh, and the Swarm double, uh, eight to four, uh, but are down one nothing and didn't get one shot on that power play, I don't think so. Oh, I guess they had one, right? The one with the no traffic. All right, uh, Harrison picks it up, goes over the blue line, low shot, and it sneaks past Canada. It was dangerous there. The bodies are starting to fly here, folks. Uh, all right. Ampson, oh, loses the puck. Uh, Josh Whiston Lee picks it up, goes around behind the net, avoids the check from Anston. He's a big boy. And the puck comes up to the Stampede blue line, and it goes back into the Swarm defensive zone. Andrew Hay across to Luke Simon. Luke Simon drops for Polozov. Polozov picks it up, just casually strides, makes the pass up to the middle, deflected in by Vortnoff, and it's turned over. Uh, Lachlan Freer clears it. It goes to Mitchell Freer. Mitchell Freer, I think, ran into his teammate, or uh, the blue line tripped him. We'll just <laughs> call that. Oh, but it comes out into the slot, and a great save by Matt Kennedy. Uh, oh, and he, uh, McRae takes a shot <laughs> in frustration from Kennedy. Uh, McRae pushed into the goalie, and uh, Kennedy took exception. I think that might be the first time I've seen a full blocker to the face without a penalty. Uh, they're talking about it here, folks. And uh, did I just see the ref point at McRae and tell him to go to the box? No. Okay. They're, they're I think talking. I just, just telling him to get be, lost. <laughs> there, could be some, there could be some penalties here. But, yes, I would agree because um, I don't think McRae wears a visor, does he? Oh, he does wear a visor. Okay. He doesn't look too upset about it. Oh, and uh, yeah. it looks like we are going to get, oh, it's in the yeah. crease. Now Canada so getting one for hitting, hitting McCray in the head. Oh, I thought he was calling a crease violation. What is, because he was making this circle. So that, that's, I thought that's one of the five that's on the ice. That's crease violation. All oh, right. So the stampede penalty box is open. Uh, signifying, oh no, it's closed again. And we don't know, I, I'm sure you've guessed, folks. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you've guessed. We don't, oh no, the swarm are taking a penalty because that would make sense because it would be a roughing call on Canada, who is now telling the referee 
but what about the player falling on me yeah. who the, the referee is saying, but you don't understand your defenseman pushed him onto you. Oh, you can see him nodding his head. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have done that. Naughty, naughty candidate. Yeah, f falling on top of someone's a lot less deadly than a blocker full of Kevlar to the <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and, you know, I, I've not played at a high level, so I've always wore a cage. I've, I've had the pleasure of not feeling that <laughs> Kevlar to the face before. I can't imagine it feels nice. It does not feel good. No, okay, I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. All right, great control here by the Stampede. Um, and they play around the outside here uh, along the half boards back up to the point Amston cross ice to Freer Freer with a shot and it just goes wide it's picked up by McRae and he's along the half boards goes into the corner back up to the point to McRae McRae up to uh, Burns Albert. Burns back to McRae McRae looking back door for Amston uh, but he couldn't tuck it home. It's back up high for McCray, and he shoots, and great deflection and a save by Kennedy. He had to look sharp there. The puck popped out. Uh, he was going the opposite way. Uh, great power play so far here by the Stampede. Uh, all right. Um, Hurley takes it into the corner. He's being hassled there by Puckett. Uh, Mawson picks up the loose puck, attempts to clear. Can't clear, and that might not be okay. Uh, Ollie Hay clears it, but it was deflected, and it goes up into the ceiling, and the puck will remain, or no, it will come outside. And just the difference with how that power play started off compared to how the Swarm started off, that's what you want. Get that possession, pass it around, get, get the, the D moving around. If you don't have to get them moving, the PK wins. That's right. That's right, exactly. You got to move the puck. Um, uh, I mean, like, a, you know, Amston had the back door. It came all the way back around. It was up back up at the point. In his, uh, anyways, yes, yeah, good point, good point. All right, Harrison drops it for uh, Carson Pratt. Uh, over to McCray. Oh, was that? Nope, not McCray. Excuse me. True. Oh, no, 60. It was Freer. My apologies. I, I, like I said, folks, I'm going blind. I can't see the numbers from the Freer gloves it down on the attempted clear. And uh, they control on the half boards. He's coming to the middle. He sees uh, McRae. Back to even strength. And they're still throwing the puck around here. Janssen back on the ice. Oh, uh, he goes through the middle. And uh, the Swarm pick it up, Janssen. He's all alone. Everybody else is coming off the penalty call. To, oh, Janssen makes the move through uh, Freer there, but uh, his partner saving his butt, and uh, they clear. Well, what Janssen might lack in speed, he definitely makes up for in his hands. My goodness. He's got He's some sneaky. sneaky good hands. Darn. Uh, Pull is off. Dropping it, and nope, uh, no denied, says Brooks. Uh, McRae going off the boards and out. Tappen picks it up. He goes behind the net to his partner who has to, oh, Andrew Hay takes the hit to make the play. It comes out to pull us off, pull us off, look into the middle, and Atwell deflects it, and it goes up into the netting. Nice play there, but uh, execution just wasn't quite there. If you're the Swarm, that's what you're liking. Start off down here at the hash marks. One quick pass. Stretch out the Stampede. Because if you've been noticing, Stampede are only running 5D tonight. No, I haven't Big noticed. ice. Right, yes. That's going to tire him out. That so. will tire him out. Good point. Yeah. I have noticed that, uh, no, uh, they have made the long stretch pass here a few times. And it's always been Polas off, too. Yeah. All right. Looks like an icing here. It is indeed. We've got four and a half minutes left in the first period. Folks, stay tuned. Coming up in the intermission, um, we will have an interview with uh, Mike McRae, I yeah. believe. Is that right? Michael yep. McRae, yeah. So Mike McRae, who is from Detroit. Detroit? Or just yeah. outside Detroit. Right. Not quite eight mile, but close. Right. <laughs> uh, big reggae fan. Yeah. Um, I, I, yes, uh, I had the pleasure of playing uh, with him and um, uh, Schneids. Yeah. 
I want to say Corey Schneider. Uh, Matthew Schneider. Matthew Schneider. Thank you. Um, who's doing a sabbatical this year? Uh, yeah, he's just living life in Vietnam. <laughs> That's right. Uh, shout out if you are watching, supporting the old team there, Corey, Matthew. <laughs> I'm just joshing. Um, all right, we'll, we'll get back to play-by-play -play here. Sorry. Uh, so puck comes over the swarm end. Harrison dumps it in. Hopkinson there to pick it up. He dumps it back to his partner. Janssen there to clean it up. Ollie Hay. Boyd Nacek goes behind the net, settles it there, letting everybody set up. Comes out, looks for the long pass, and it's picked off in the slot area by Harrison, who unfortunately fired it high, but great play there by Harrison to keep it in and get the shot off. Comes outside the zone, burns to Harrison. Harrison with the shot on net, and Canada. Let's we'll have that one down, but he had uh, number 57, no, 97, Hurley barreling down on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Josh said he wanted, wanted to give a shout out to his kid, Hudson J. Uh, J. Hurley, had a kid back in January. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Um, you know, I, I've got three kids myself. Um, any kids? Not yet. Not yet, eh? Not that you know of. That's what you always say. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's always congratulations. Then when they turn about three, it's condolences. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so good luck to you, new yeah. father. Um, oh, and Mawson taking the hit. He lost the puck, looked down, and paid the price. That's Jaden Skipper, Skipper making his presence known. No kidding. Great hit. Smart play. Ignore the puck. Take the body. And you got to do that with uh, Ma Owen Mawson now. He's looking for blood. Uh, Max Hill there battling it out. Mawson comes to help him. And the puck gets cleared out, and it's called for an icing, and it will cross the line. We have two minutes, 45 seconds left in the first period. It's currently 3-2 in uh, Christchurch right now. Ooh. Hayden Bull had an early goal. Ooh, back second and period. forth, back and forth. All right, because uh, looked like Phoenix had the lead two to one. Or am I reading that wrong? Oh no, I'm reading that wrong. Sorry. Couple um, Queenstown boys, Noah Gregory with an assist, Jackson Flight with the goal. Right for okay. the Thunder. Right. Hayden Bowl so far tonight has a goal and assist, and Justin Seisho has a goal and assist as well. So could be a good night for both of them. Jeez. Madison Graham, hat trick last week or two weeks ago against the Admirals. He's got two oh, assists is tonight. that right? Yeah. No, they've got a great young squad, Canterbury. Um, uh, they they blew the swarm out last week, uh, and they gave the Stampede a little bit of a worry as well. Yeah, Stampede were fortunate to rely on two very strong third periods, but the first first four periods of those uh, first two games weren't looking too pretty. Undefeated, uh, as long as you're pulling it out in the third, I guess it doesn't really matter what your first two look like. Although I'm sure you you know you want to have better. Yeah. There you go. All right, swarm clear up to pulls off. Pulls off loses the handle, uh, and it gets exchanged in the neutral zone, and it ends up back in the swarm zone. Ollie Hay on the case, wraps it off the boards up into the neutral zone. Stampede pick it up. Burns with the puck, who gives it off to Freer. Freer backhands it in. And Sandoy there for the Swarm to pick it up. He's being checked off the puck there by uh, Carson Pratt. Great play, but unfortunately comes out of the zone. Uh, and it will just be offside. McCray. Just a little tired after that shift. Dipsy doodling yeah. his way out there, casually strolling. Curious to see how uh, that second and third period go tonight because the first four home games we've seen McCray's speed, but we've yet to see it tonight. Um, <laughs> I will look forward to that. Uh, looks like uh, we've got a potential injury here. Michael Atwell sort of nursing something uh, off the bench here, so we'll keep an eye on that. And Richie Hopkinson uh, took a hit to make a play, but unfortunately didn't eventuate into anything. Not this time, but he gets it back to Kozak. Who gives it back to him, but again, a great defensive play by the Stampede, and they clear. 
And they come back in. Hopkinson off to Kozak. Kozak with the shot deflected into the corner. And Janssen given chase. But Harrison picks it up and dumps it into the swarm zone. Remy Sandoy there. He goes over to the other side for Ollie Hay. Ollie's checked there by Harrison. None other than Oldie. And, uh, oh, who's getting it? Somebody's getting it. Kozak passes it off to Janssen. Janssen gives it to Sandoy. Sandoy skates over the blue line. Attempted shot, but blocked. And it's picked up by Puckett, who gives it to Josh Whiston Lee. Whiston Lee over the blue line. Looking for the centering feed. Commons picks it up, gives it to Mawson. Shot blocked, and it dribbles onto Brooks. And he covers that up with just over 10 seconds left in the first period. I do feel sorry for players who are playing against the Stampede D so far this season. I think they average 20 to 30 blocks every game. They are not scared to get in front of any shot. I mean, that said, of all the things, you know, of all the shots they've blocked, the sh it's shots are still 12-8, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's, oh, nice little tip there. Uh, and that's not been a problem for the Swarm of shots on net. It's actually capitalizing, them in, yeah. burying them in. Yeah, that's right. That's the end of the first. And there we go, folks. End of the first period. Um, our scoring summary, uh, Stampede, one with a great play by uh, Max McCaw. Oh wow, it was a great. Uh, oh, there's, there's there's two of them. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, number 25, Max McCaw. All right, folks, stick around. Uh, we've got um, our first intermission uh, entertainment. We've got shoot for a hundy coming up. I like this, Ben. That's a good one. Uh, and then um, eventually. The man himself, Mike McRae, will come and join Mr. McIntosh here for a, a first period interview. Okay, here we go. They are going to put the, the <laughs> they must have given away $1,000 easy. Easy. Um, how, how would you not get it in there? They cut three holes into this slab <laughs> here. And uh, all right, folks, they want us to make some noise. We have got... Uh, young lady, it looks like here, gonna make a shot at Senna. She winds up and slaps it, and unfortunately doesn't have the legs. Okay, he's been asked to clear the puck, go, go. and she makes her second shot real quick, and McCrane. just misses wide. All right, she's got a third and final shot. She dusts McCrane, it off. She minute. looks at her target. And she makes a nice shot. This is looking good, but no, I'm afraid not. Oh, what a great sport. What a great sport. Um, Speak too bad. Speaking so of sad. women's hockey, we have the NZWHL firing up next weekend. We do indeed, yes. So I thought you were going to make a comment about oh, no. uh, somebody. Uh, all right, folks, look at in. Um, I'm going to hand over the headset here in just a moment. Our guest is making his way up. I'm just going to go and clear a path for him. I will be back, folks. Right, I will leave you. you in the care of Mr. McIntosh. Thank you very much. All right, I'm here with Michael McRae, the third all-time leading scorer in the NZHL. How was that first period for you, Mike? Uh, just trying to get those legs going. Uh, it's pretty hard, slow ice, but um, one nothing period. The boys are pretty happy with that. 
Yeah, t uh, talk me through that goal. I know you didn't get an assist on it, but how'd that uh, play transpire? Well, I'd sure hope I get an assist on that, but um, oh, I just went cross ice, and Lockie made a good play with um, the D pinching up, and uh, Maxi just made a fucking oh, a beautiful play. Excuse me, sorry, kids. It's all, it's all good. We're live. Um, <laughs> that first period, not not a bad road period. No, no. I mean, anytime you're up uh, by any goals, it's uh, it's a good period coming. Coming from a flight down or up to Auckland, it's, uh, it was a good period. Slow, but a uh, good period. That's how I like it. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you have planned for the second? What, what do the boys have to work on? Well, the boys are just uh, getting through this game. Really, it's um, you know slow legs and um, tough ice. The ice is quite quite soft, and it's it's tough to get going out there. But you know we're um, we got to stay out of the box, and I think we'll we'll have a good game. Yeah. Short bench, big ice, long change. Yeah, that's what I live for. Yeah, I was, I was mentioning earlier that uh, we've seen your speed the first four home games, but we've got to see it tonight. Is it, well, it going to come out tonight or no? <laughs> yeah, the speed is um, it's pretty non-existent nowadays. Um, but, you know, I just uh, keep chipping away. I'm a grinder out there now. Yeah, look, we were talking, uh, me and Aaron, this year a lot of people didn't expect the Stampede to be where they are right now, 6-0. What do you think is the biggest thing allowing the Stampede to stay basically on par with where they were last year? Uh, you know, I mean, we've we've had this kind of group of guys minus, you know, our, a couple big imports that obviously we're missing. But, you know, we've, we've, you know, one through three has pretty much played big minutes for us. And, and they've been put in big situations. And, you know, guys like Harry and Maxi and Lockie and all those young boys, our D, our D is incredible this year. Yeah. And obviously Brooks is, you know, is why we win most of these games. Yeah. So, you know, our team's different. We're missing some big, big boys. But, you know, we're, we're still the same old stampede. Yeah, it's it's been a good start to the uh, the weekend. Hopefully, I'll see you out there second period. Thanks, mate. Have a good one. See you, bro.
All right, welcome back. Uh, I believe Aaron is just getting a hot dog or something, but about 40 seconds left till the uh, teams take the ice. I'd ask Aaron what he's expecting in the second period, but he's not here. So as a player myself, whether I'm on the swarm, it's that first five minutes, you want to get in there, all the cliches, skate hard, chip and chase, finish first. But in all reality, the swarm need to get some, some traffic in front of Aston Brooks. They need to stay out of the perimeter, try to force it in. Because as we've said before, Aston Brooks sees a puck, he's going to stop it. If you're the stampede, road period's out of the way. So you know, no, no more blaming the, uh, the bus legs or the plane legs. But um, first period, on the road, one nothing lead. Everyone's happy about that. So second period just building off that. Um, for those who took time away, just looking at the score here, uh, Phoenix Thunder and Canterbury Red Devils is 4-4. The th second period alone has one, two, three, four goals. So players are happy, goalies are not. Um, it's good to see Chris Eden on the, uh, the score sheet. It's always good to see Enigma Hockey out there. And uh, sorry again for those who are watching the, uh, the interview. A little uh, mishap with Mike McRae, but it's all good now. About uh, 30 seconds here until puck drop. Uh, last home round, Tyler didn't like the fact that I said he was from Gore. So I'm just going to let everyone know again that Tyler is, in fact, from Gore. But he is one of the best refs in the country. So all the players out there are happy that he's out there. We got Atwell and McCog out there for the draw. Pulls off skates in there. Bordenov down the left wing. Yet again, block shot Callum Burns. Over to Samboy, down low. Good to see Atwell out there. We were uh, a little bit worried that he was getting an injury. Callum Burns battling through it up to McRae. Cross ice to Lachlan Freer. Slightly tipped outside. Mike McRae down low. Oh, there's a box of beer for Tyler. Taking it down. For those who don't know, if you're a ref and you take a tumble, that's a box of beer for the other two. Or cruisers if you're not drinking beer. Ooh. Pulls off. Had that puck. Sauce pass back door. Tap in. That's at well with the goal. Get wow. the, getting the crowd fired up. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. It, it has historically been a bit quiet in this building. Yeah. It was the loudest I'd seen it last week at yeah. 9 to 2. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Here we go. They just need a little bit of a push. Yeah, and that's a perfect start for the swarm. All right quick goal by the swarm uh 45 seconds into the second period uh sorry about my delay i was trying to get some refreshments for the oh, booth here no uh, they are on their way don't worry i got you covered yeah okay one nothing or one nothing uh one all uh one minute into the second period Amston with a shot on net from the red line. Canada had to juggle that one, and we will have a stoppage of play. How'd the interview go with McRae? That was good. He was yeah. he was very candid. He uh, forgot we were a PG-13 broadcast. Oh, but darn it. Outside of that, it was good. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, I mean, his daughter's only three, if that. If that, yeah. yeah. One, one, one and a half? Yeah. Uh, so he'll learn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, looks like uh, Candy having to make another save there off the face-off. And a win here by the Stampede. Amston dumps it into the corner uh, there for McCarg, who gets plastered by Mawson. Uh, attempted clear kept in at the point. Mawson giving chase behind the net, but is picked up by Kozak and thrown out the middle. It was lucky everybody was sort of breaking out there. I'm hoping not. Uh Harry McCogg's face is okay after going face first yeah. to the boards there. Well, he's still on the ice, uh, so it can't be too bad. Uh, all right, Kozak along the half boards, clears it out. True, uh, over to is it 14. Callum Burns. Callum Burns, back over to True. 
Uh, Callum calling for it again. Skates around two swarm, cuts over the blue line, takes the shot on on, gets Ooh. his own rebound. Two big saves by Canada. And Canada had to look sharp there. Uh, Burns calling for it again. He Oh, it's not Burns this time. Uh, it is Carson Pratt who gets it in and gets the body for his efforts. Uh, there's this Whiston Lee behind the net over to Hay. Hay uh, off the referee's skate in a perfect outlet pass. And it's dumped in here by Puckett, but intercepted by True and given over to Burns. Burns looking for the lead pass, great play. Uh, but unable to handle the pass was 97? Josh Hurley. That Josh Hurley. Now, Josh looks familiar. Um, I Just before COVID hit, we did a South Island outdoor rink uh, yeah, tour with the Goons. He's originally from Alex. Yeah, and so. we played a game. So here's a funny story then about Josh Hurley. So we're having a friendly, and I'm using air quotes, folks, uh, completely offside. Yeah. Uh, one job, Robin Bortnoff. Yeah. Um, anyways, so uh, we were having a friendly match against the Alexandria. I want to say Bulls. They're not the Bull the Tars. Uh, I forget what they are actually, but uh, and the SNC team yet. Uh, J Josh uh, was playing, and um, uh, I, I guess Josh felt that somebody had used their uh, body against one of his team uh, unnecessarily, and I was the victim of <laughs> uh, his retaliation. And, you know, it was a great hit. It, it wasn't anything malicious. It was just a body check. <laughs> and as I was staring up at the uh, stars, because um, it was a night game, <laughs> the team took offense to it. But um, anyways, uh, cooler heads prevailed. Uh, and we shook hands and had a beer afterwards and had a giggle about it. Um, nice guy. He's a young, young boy, eh? Or boy, lad. He's 23. Yeah, 19, 20? 19, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. He came up with uh, Gregory, Reed, Flight, Jack Roby. So oh, that's, right. That's, okay. Okay, yeah. that's his generation. Yeah. Very good uh, group of players. Yes, yes. Uh, all right, sorry, folks, uh, about the funny stories here. We'll pick up play Mawson over the blue line. He's in the slot looking to chip it to Kozak, but great defensive play, and it's cleared out. And we've got Carson Pratt giving chase, but the icing will be called, and we'll have a faceoff back in the stampede end. Seeing a lot of end-to-end -end right now. That's direct from the, uh, the long change. You're seeing a lot of defensemen especially getting left out there for that minute, minute and a half shift, which... This is, is the period where you change when you can, yeah. not when you have to, you know? Uh, change before you're tired, not after you're tired. That's right, that's right, exactly. <laughs> but of course, that never happens. No. And you change when you're tired. You get puck hungry, which <laughs> is normal. Right. Everyone, everyone does right. that. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm good. The uh, the swarm right now are relying a lot on the uh, little behind the back passes there. It's working out, just not getting the uh, the goals. The finish, yeah. All right, Mawson out into the neutral zone. This is, uh, Freer picks it up. He drops it back for Burns. Burns makes a nice move around Janssen. Makes another nice move around Whiston Lee and then around Commons. And he busts in and a great play. Nice shot, Kennedy. Trapper save there. And it's picked up behind the net by Whiston Lee. Whiston Lee to Commons along the boards. And I thought that might have yeah. been a delay a game there, but nope. Deflected out and we will have a face off on the uh, neutral zone. You're seeing Callum Burns a lot this year, rushing that puck. Seeing him put his uh, his former forward skills to uh, to work. He has got some speed. Yeah, he's always been a very good skater. Um, all right, Swarm trying to clear, and it's kept in by, oh, and uh, potential glove pass, but no, that is 
not happening. Uh, Harrison with the puck. He was looking for a pass. It gets deflected. No icing on the play. Luke Simon drops it for Tappen, who was just lost it for a moment there. And uh, Carson Pratt on the case. And uh, Puckett with the outlet pass that was missed by Commons. And it will be an icing, and there will be no changing for the Swarm. We'll see if the Stampede's first line can take advantage of that. Uh, definitely some tired skaters out there for the Swarm. And yes, we've got McRae, Freer, Freer. Burns and McCox. Yes. All right. This could be an interesting little sequence here, folks. Another instance where face-offs are key. Been saying that repeatedly this year, but every play starts with one, so you want to start with that puck. And Swarm win that one. Commons picks it up on the half boards, tries to clear. He does get it out, and the Swarm now race for a change, and the Stampede take full advantage. Looking for McRae, just unable to handle it. Uh, but it's picked up in the zone. And the shot on net, it comes back to uh, McCarg, who drops it on the point. Shot from the point. Picked up by McCray. Nice Ooh, pass off to the post. Uh, Freer, who rings it off the crossbar. It was right in the corner there, eh? Crossbar post. Lachlan Freer's no stranger to scoring Ooh. goals. Ooh. He was, in fact, the uh, 2020 ended IHL leading goal scorer. No kidding. Yeah. Right, okay. I, yeah, well, that would make sense, being mm -hmm. on the Stampede and all. Yep. Um, For those that don't know, that was a South Island, North Island year. That was the year of COVID. So right, okay. Right. Eight games played between the South Island and four between the North. Looking back, eh? It, yeah. That, those, yeah, crazy times, crazy times. Um, like, I'm heading overseas next week, actually. And, um, yeah, it's like the post-COVID era of travel and stuff. Yeah, Who knows what that looks like. I've done domestic travel. Mm -hmm. That's easy. But sorry, a lot of action here. A lot of shot. Good uh, swarm pressure here. Uh, and a shot that was saved and ricochets out. Ollie Hay. Oh, nice pass up the middle to Atwell, who then runs over Burns. Uh, but the puck then is cleared back into the swarm end. Sandoy there to collect it. And he gives it over to. Ollie Hay, Ollie Hay to Vortnoff, back to Ollie Hay, Ollie Hay. Oh, looking to avoid a check there from Carson Pratt, who's going to get a tripping penalty. Um, He's going to argue that one, obviously, I'd as every player does. He argue that a little bit. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, yeah, uh, regardless if it's soft or yeah. accidental, the referee made the call, and we will have the first penalty. Oh no, first swarm, oh excuse me, second yeah, swarm power first play. First power play of the period. Of the period, thank yeah. you, thank you Colin, I appreciate we'll it. We'll see if they can, they, uh, <laughs> can build off that first period and improve on that end zone yes. possession. Yes, exactly. But real uh, aggressive penalty kill there. Yeah. Um, we'll see how they handle that. Uh, you gotta move the puck real fast with that aggressive penalty kill, right? That shot you'll take every day. Again, right? Nope, nobody no in traffic. front. Yeah, thank you. The clock ticks down. Yeah. Oh, I get, uh, Not by much, but no. it's still six yeah. seconds less than it yeah, was. Exactly. All right, Kozak picks it up off the faceoff. He's at the top of the circle. He's looking far side for Mawson. It is blocked and cleared. Not cleared. Tuller with a great play at the blue line. And Janssen... Uh, looking to bat it out of the air there, but swing and a miss, and it goes into the corner. Back up to the point, Tuller skates to the middle, drops it for Hopkinson. Wasn't ready for the pass, and it doesn't come out. Kozak able to hold it in by the hair of his chinny chin chin, and it comes out front, and what a save! Um, true playing goalie there. And great offensive pressure here by the Swarm. Uh, just before the whistle, Kyle Janssen uh, making a shot and Aston Brooks. Coming up for that poke check. Huge save. Um, and with that new double IHL, double IHF rule going in this year, that comes off, you can no longer change on the PK. Oh. So if it's the goalie, 
who initiates it. No change. So you got all these guys who are out there for 52 seconds. I didn't know that. Right. Yeah. Okay. A lot of tired bodies. Okay. This could be good for the swarm here. Pulls off, picks it up. Looking to get some separation between him and Vortnoff. He goes behind the net. Back out to Vortnoff. Short side and great defensive play there by True. Uh, kept in at the point by Sandoy. Vortnoff down low to pulls off. They play catch. Pulls off back behind the net. He's being checked there by Aston Amston, excuse me. Uh, Ollie Hay on the far side gets poke checked and cleared just out just out pull is off holding on to the puck goes far side to atwell atwell brings it in gets to the circle dumps it or leaves it for ollie hay ollie hay goes around the other side he's on the far side on the goal line he goes up high to uh, uh, the defenseman uh, he goes to the top of the circle to vortnoff vortnoff with the low shot looking for the tip and uh, it's lying there in the slot but it comes back up to the point pass down to polos off in the corner that's a full two minute penalty kill shift that, that was is insane great control here by the swarm but even better defense by the stampede um, even when they got past brooks true was there to make two saves pulls off going far side looking for the one timer not happening oh and great play there by vortnoff but uh, Brooks standing strong and the puck comes out. Remy Sandoy picks it up from his own zone. He comes back into the stampede end. Oh, and throws a shot through looking for a tip. And it goes harmlessly into the corner. And uh, the puck lost Ooh. there by Hurley. Max Hill picks it up, dumps it in, or sort of. Uh, and it's attempted clear. Oh. And Luke Simon with the shot. Uh, defenseman's just skating in the line of vision there. Uh, Brooks had to look sharp on that. It was going wide, but. Yeah. It's a much, much needed save, much needed stop. Mm. Uh, yes, yes. Cam, Cam True getting a change after being out there for two and a half minutes. Much better power play right there. Getting the shots they need, possession they need. It was a good power play, definitely. But uh, still 1 1. Uh, Freer chopping at the puck. It comes back down low behind the net. Uh, Burns up to somebody. Uh, back to Burns, who uh, loses the handle Ooh. there. Uh, Josh Whiston Lee. Uh, Burns gets it back. He gets it up to. Oh, great pass if this makes it through. Um, Walkley Freer going cross ice. Was it McCray. Freer? Okay. Yeah, great pass. Oh. Um, and we've got a penalty coming up here to the swarm. Gavin Puckett. Oh, look at this pass. Oh, even better play there by uh, Harrison. And it goes to, is that McCray with the shot? And it ricochets out of play. And we'll have an interference penalty here to the swarm. So sometimes looking at the ref does get you a penalty. Callum Burns wasn't a fan of it. It could have been a penalty, could have not have been a penalty, but if anything, that's probably a makeup call from the trip behind the net. But that, potentially, right? H Hockey yeah. has a way yeah. of working itself it does. out. It does, it does, yes. One team might complain about the call that got called, but the other team's like, okay, well, it's a makeup call. That's right. Stop complaining. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, shot at the point. It comes out the other side. Burns has to pick it up, and he comes back into his own zone. Uh, looking at his options, thinks it goes one way, goes up to McRae. Uh, McRae looking to go to the middle, but it's deflected out. Burns picks it up and dumps it in down low. Mawson behind the net. He loses it. Tuller sees the man's. Uh, Janssen was breaking there, but McRae, uh, this will be a glove hand pass. McRae's not happy, saying, leave it, leave it, but. Um, so. The Confusing. fact that it was touched in the defensive zone should not have been a, a play, hand pass. A, a, a call. Oh, I thought the hand pass happened in the neutral zone. Even if it starts there, if you touch it down here. Right, right, okay. Because that like, would have been a defensive yeah. hand pass, which is allowed. Technically, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. All right, uh, face-off win by the Stampede. 
Amston behind the net for probably Freer. Callum Burns again. Burns, Burns again. Up to Harrison. Harrison loses the handle and it gets cleared back into the stampede zone. Uh, Burns picks it up. Uh, pull is off, given chase. Harrison picks up the loose puck in the neutral zone with the shot. And Canada, I want to say the easy save, but yeah. was, uh, it was a bit of a floater. Sometimes those can be a little bit deceiving, right? You'll change up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I had it and it didn't. <laughs> yeah. I don't have it anymore. It's embarrassing playing baseball. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was like, oh. Um, yeah, I was talking with the boys on the in the vans today. The perception of a baseball from what the view we see when we watch the NLB compared to what a, oh. a pitcher sees oh. or what a batter a sees batter is. See oh, it's night and day. It's yeah. like playing cricket. Yeah. You know, um, uh, when I learned that the cricket ball moves as fast as a shot, yeah. there's 20, I want to say feet between the, the wickets. It's mm -hmm. not, um, anyways, uh, yes. Yeah, Back to hockey, though. Yeah, <laughs> professional athletes make it look easier than it is. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. All right, Callum Burns on the point here. Gives it down to McRae on the hash marks. And a nice play to the middle. Deflected. Kande still picking up the pieces. It's behind the net with uh, McCarg. Still got it. He plays it up high to Burns. Burns looking for the slapper. It gets deflected to the corner. McRae there. Battling with Sandoy, and it attempted clear, and it does make it out. Burns was unable to keep it in. He goes far side for Harrison. Harrison, Harrison holding on to the puck, dancing around his check, backhands it towards the net, and it's picked up by Ollie Hay, who goes off the glass and out to the neutral zone. And I believe we're back to even strength now yep. here, folks. Oh, nice shot there by Amston. And another great play there by Freer to get the tip to, is it, uh, oh, uh, Hurley behind the net. Makes a nice play, but unfortunately lost it. It's still in the zone, though. Goes back into the corner. Ollie, hey, uh, Hurley there. Oh, no, excuse me, not Hurley. McCog uh, gets it into the slot a and save. a nice shot. Did he make the save? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right wow, what a save, yeah. All right, pull is off one on three. It has happened before. Oh, look at that. That was smooth. Great stick by Lockie Freer there. Wow, Freer making it look easy. Uh, I tell you, folks, that was not easy. Oh, an attempted clear, and it does get out. Oh, Michael Atwell giving chase. And uh, True being hassled by Atwell. Turnover, centering feed, shot by Puck. Uh, excuse me, was that Puckett? Tuller. Uh, the puck is still beside the net there. And pulls off, comes out with it. Referee right there. Pulls off, thrown off the puck. Uh, True collects it and offloads it to, who's this? Oh, 24 Freer. Ooh. And takes a weird bounce off the back of boards. Fortunate bounce, but <laughs> fortunate that the Stampede Nobody weren't uh, four checking there. Wow. Um, okay, that was, uh, that was like, that's twice now it's taken a weird bounce off the boards. Tuller, uh, evaluating the situation, was looking for Whiston Lee, who missed it, and, and very fortunate that the Stampede were offside and unable to play that puck. Mawson, uh, trying to avoid the check of, uh, Skipper. We got the two big men going head to head here. Mawson up to Commons. Commons along the far side, uh, throws it into the corner. And Mawson with the body on Skipper, they both go down. Kept in at the point. Uh, Commons with the check and I think it was Coyle with the clear. Mawson. Ooh, big hit by uh, Ryan Martin there. There you go. We're taking the big guys down. And he's going for a change. This will be an icing, folks. Uh, no changing after the big hit, I'm afraid. Uh, you'll have to do it again. That's a tired body right there. Yeah. Oh, he's skating to the box. What's going on here? <laughs> 
people in the penalty box thought it was a penalty. I so <laughs> Martin just took their word for it. <laughs> Mr. Honesty yeah. skated over to the box. Um, <laughs> that was a bit comical. All right, folks, we got just under five minutes left in the second period. This period is just raced by. Uh, oh, good Swarm stick by Kozak. Kozak with the shot, and Brooks with a great save. I think uh, uh, Kozak was looking to go just, just over the pad under the blocker, and Brooks makes a great play. And the puck is still live here. All right, Swarm have the puck. Kozak. Uh, looking for Hopkinson just out of his reach. And the puck is picked up by the Stampede defenseman Freer, who circles off his check. He gives it up to uh, McCog, who throws it into the neutral zone. It's picked up by the swarm Thomas Tappan, who takes it in behind his net Ooh, and makes a nice play so to fast. himself off the boards. I don't believe that was an intentional pass to himself, but. They are professionals, folks. And uh, Tuller, or it was Kozak with the oh. play up the middle, which is a big no-no. And he shakes his head. He goes to the goes to the bench a little bit ashamed. Oh, and that could be a too many men. And it's not. And Polozov takes a Four big on hit. Two. McRae cuts to the middle. Cuts back. What a great play. And he shot it wide. Throw it back on the net <laughs> what a sequence of events yeah. here folks the last three minutes has just been back and forth wow. back and forth shot from the slot shot from the slot wow um mcrae with a gorgeous play over the blue line cuts to the middle throws it back to where he was who was that max mccog it was mccog just eh? missed wide wow and then they picked it up on the far side a gaping net threw it into somebody yeah. who then bounced into Canada's lap for the freeze. Wow. As, they, as they always say with goalies, you got to be lucky to be good. That's right. <laughs> and that was a perfect example of that, folks. All right, okay, something has happened, and the faceoff will come outside of the swarm zone. Oh, I, just looking at the, uh, the thunder... Red Devils game, there was a fight. Tristan Darling and Justin Saisho. Oh, oh. So Saisho got the first Gordie Howe hat trick in who knows how long, Oh, if ever. I'm pretty sure a fight comes with an automatic game suspension or yeah. two. And that kind of trade-off is not something I would want no. as a Red Devils. Definitely not. He's been putting up good points. Yeah. So yeah, that's oh, definitely that's... Uh, one you didn't want to take. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, um, but in a league with no fighting, yeah. sometimes it is not such a smart thing to do. Um, There's been many, many, many talks about the fighting in the NZIHL. It's, it is a. We are governed by the IWHF, right? And yeah. uh, until that changes, yeah, we're never going to have fighting. Um, oh, but we've got a penalty coming up here. Looks like. Pole is off with the hook potentially. I think they're calling or is Connor it, Harrison. Oh no, Connor Harrison. And if you're if you're asking the Stampede bench, there should have been one, if not two, on Atwell right there by the blue line. Uh, I did see a few hooks uh, coming into the Stampede end. Yep, definitely. And those are the plays that the missed high hits, the missed hits from behind. Those are the ones that usually result in the fighting major. That's right. Well, the players start to feel like we have to now yeah. do something, right? The ref's not doing anything. And uh, that's where that's where the one fight rule, fight and you're gone for the game, you can play the next game. That would clean up a lot of the yes. dirty hits in the yes. league. Yes. Well, but you got to be you'll be held accountable, yeah. right? You know? Uh, right now you can two-hand a guy, cross-check a guy, hit him from behind, and if you somebody fights you, they're gone for two, four, six games, which is a lot when it's a 16 game that's schedule right, that's so right. it's a quarter of the season gone but after all that stan peter on the pk all Are right we uh what do we got a buck 20 left in the power play here uh and kozak and moss and play catch at the point and um it's kept in kozak goes far side to Hopkinson finding Kozak, looking, what a play, 
Hopkins and Kozak. Janssen yawning open cage. Now that was textbook. That was great puck movement. Uh, great play by the Swarm. Not much uh, Brooks is going to do on that one there. That's what happens when you possess the puck. Move it around, tape to tape. You're going to get all the PKers moving around. Uh, no, uh, great play at the point there to get it to Kozak. I thought, look, Kozak made the play to Hopkinson. Mm -hmm. I would have shot it. Yeah. Hopkinson made the smart play back. But then Kozak to see uh, Janssen. Anyways, yeah, great play, great play. All right, we got a two-to-one lead here for the Swarm. Uh, but earlier, if you had tuned in, uh, it, this is kind of like playing into the Stampede's hands, is leading going into the yeah. third period, because uh, it gets that fire in their mm -hmm. belly going, right? They've and definitely been a very good third period team this year. The second period's been a little bit of an Achilles heel, but... Uh, I uh, look. I, two, I can't two take nothing this period. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Good point. Good point. All right, McRae picks it up into the swarm and goes into the corner looking for the centering feed. It's blocked by Atwell. McRae gets it back. He's challenged there by Sandoy. Sandoy and McRae. McRae goes up to the point. It does come out there, but uh, Harrison holds on to the puck. Oh, and it's ricocheted out there. And it's up to Polas off at the blue line and turned over again. McRae over the blue line with a shot and a nice pad save by Kande. The puck in the crease area and thrown into the corner by Sandoy. He goes off the boards looking for Polas off by intercepted by Freer. Back up to the point from Burns. Burns with the shot uh, and it save from Kande. Puck is in the corner there, picked up by Ollie Hay, but it's not out. Uh, I want to say Freer. Oh no, it wasn't Freer. It's McCark. Ollie Hay picks it up, and he throws his check off. Nice pass to Vortnoff, and a great save by Austin. Or is it Aston Brooks? Yeah, Aston Brooks. Yeah. Aston Brooks. Great play. I thought that might have squeezed seven hole between the arm there, but no. Especially with those, those rolling pucks, you never know. Uh, Vortnoff has a great shot too. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, great, great save. Uh, all right, face off win by the Stampede. It's picked up by Burns. And he goes out to the neutral zone to Freer. Freer uh, to the, goes to the far side, loses it to Tuller who kind of gave it up in the middle. He's lucky Commons was there to pick it up and clear it. It comes back out into the stampede end. And we got McCog skating with it. Oh, makes a nice move around one defender, two defender. He's still going, uh, but forced to give up the puck. And this will about do it for the second period, folks. And wow, what a period. Uh, Swarm putting two goals up. Uh, to take the lead, we had an early goal in the yeah. first period. For, first shift goal. First shift, yeah. We had 45 seconds into the period, and then um, yeah, we had a nice, power, gorgeous power play yeah. goal later, uh, late in the period. That's definitely what you want when you're on the PP. Um, and as we're finishing, the Red Devils have just gone up six four. All right, folks. Um, yeah, uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut to intermission now, and we'll see you back here in about 15 minutes for third period action. Stay tuned.
All right, folks, we are back for third period action. Two to one. Yeah, that's a good second period there for the Swarm. Wow. If you're coming back in the third year, you're extremely happy or you're confident. Well, it, that was a great period by the Swarm. But look, I mean, if I'm the coach, like you have been telling me all game, this the third period is where the Stampede excel, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so you got to be really careful, uh, be happy that you got the lead, yeah. but you're going to need to play hard yeah, the to keep it. The next goal is the utmost importance for either team, 3-1 or 2-2. Two, two. So it'll be interesting to see how the first five minutes goes. That's always the most important part of the third. We're going first line against first line. But uh, first intermission, I was talking about the NZWHL. I uh, just uh, bumped into one of the fans, and a future NZWHL star, uh, Mila Thurston, is watching. So just want to say hi to you, Mila. Hey, Mila. Good luck. Yeah. And with that NZWHL, I didn't quite finish that thought. It was um, next weekend. Yeah. We have the Auckland Steel. That's right. Flying down to uh, play the Dunedin Thunder Women, I believe is the name. I, th that's I right. I if it's women, yep. women Thunder or Thunder Women. And then the uh, Canterbury Inferno are flying down or driving down, whichever, to uh, Queenstown to play the Walk to the Wild. That's be a, right. Yes. You know, yes. Be extremely well to see. It's exciting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Top women on the ice. Yeah. And they're doing uh, they're doing rounds this year rather than just the tournament style. Right. Right. Which, Fantastic. Yep. Next month, the uh, the Wild will be flying up to Auckland. So Auckland fans, you will see some live women That's talking. That's right. Yep. Yeah. It come out. Uh, support the girls. It, it is. Uh, <coughs> It's a great game, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure we'll, they'll be advertising out, and you'll yeah. hear all about the dates and times and stuff. Yeah, there'll be a live stream as well. And the um, the Thunder Women and the Steel are actually the curtain raisers next weekend for the, uh, I believe it's Swarm Thunder. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, so that'll be a, a good hockey-filled oh, day for people go. down in yeah. Dunedin. Hockey day in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. If you're hearing chewing, we're just having some uh, chicken nuggets and fries here. Yeah, sorry, folks. Uh, time to feed the engine here. All right. Pick up play here. Freer over the swarm line. Dumps it in around behind the net. Ollie Hay there to pick it up. He goes off the boards out to Vortnoff in the neutral zone. He picks it up, skates over, uh, and makes a pass to Hopkinson in the slot, but... Uh, Brooks swats that away, and uh, the Stampede pick it up. We had True going far side to Burns. Uh, Burns up to McRae, who deflects it in and goes for a change. Tuller picks it up over to Mawson, up to Kozak. Kozak up to Hopkinson, takes a hit in the process, but Janssen cleans up the garbage and throws it in. Kozak with the chase. It gets poked along to the uh, half wall here. And, Her uh, excuse me, um, was it Harrison? Nope. Was that Amston? Amston. Uh, lost in the neutral zone. Swarm, pick it up, come back in. We've got Janssen taking a hit in the corner there, and the puck comes back to the point to Tuller. Tuller looking to get it on net, but it's blocked there by Harrison, and it comes to the neutral zone. Mawson off the glass. Amson picks it up, skates it in and dumps it. Tuller there picks it up, makes a move around the four checker. And Mawson loses it. He gives it up, and it's a breakaway for True, who went high and wide, unfortunately. Uh, and a prime opportunity to tie the game up uh, goes awry. Uh, oh, but look at this. A swarm are just <laughs> tempting fate here. Putting the puck uh, into the uh, net area, uh, but unable to capitalize are the Stampede. All right, puck comes back into the Stampede end. Andy Hay picks it up the point, throws a shot on net. Brooks makes an easy save, and the puck comes out. We've got Martin dumps it in off the boards in Canada. Cheeky little snow shower. Well, I don't know if he meant to do <laughs> to that. A little sorry, he, not he was sorry. sort of yeah, that's right. He was sort of sliding away. It was a, it was a weak snow, mm -hmm. right? You know, it would it would maybe a half sorry. Yeah, um. I'm not sure if it's just the uh, <laughs> the break in the intermission, but the the swarm are not handling these pucks in their D zone very well right now. 
Well, this, like you're saying, I, I think the Stampede are probably, like, the Stampede now are potentially facing a loss here, so their fate is uh, skating that much faster as well. Oh, look at this play. Nice play, uh, but Atwell unable to finish. Brooks makes a gorgeous save from the centering feed there from Janssen. <laughs> and whoopsie daisy. Uh, Skipper takes a tumble there on his Ooh. attempted shot, but. Good defensive play there by Andy Hay. Yeah, picks it up. Uh, that was. Oh, look at this. Two on one here. McRae going far side. I think Canada got. Or it hit his arm or something. But we got a three on two developing the other way. Borton off. Uh, looking for Hopkinson. Uh, but he loses the handle and it's picked up by Burns who uh, looks like this one went straight over and will now face the wrath of... Oh, we've got an injured player on the other side here. Um, Josh Hurley going looks down. Like Josh Hurley went awkward into the boards behind Canada. And the gracious Swarm goaltender helping the opponent to the bench. Um, As Don Cherry would say, good Canadian kid. If... Um, well, we did have the chiropractor booth over in the corner. Um, little poor Josh holding his back. Maybe we could join the dots. Uh, either way, uh, Swarm with the power play now. Currently one for two, I believe. One for two, that's right. Um, Kozak along the sideboards. It's centered, uh, but nobody there. Mawson picks it up. Looks to go behind the net, but great defensive play there by um, Steph Amston. Amston, yeah. Formerly known as Helmerson. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Uh, Amston rips it around, looking to clear. Kozak keeps it in. No, he doesn't. Great check there by Carson Pratt to clear the zone. Uh, Kozak dipsy doodling, gets it to Janssen who comes in with the shot, but Amston with the save. Yeah. Amston having a great game. He is having an amazing game defensively yeah. and has also contributed offensively as well. Um, all right, Mawson over to Polozov. Polozov over the line, winds up slap shot. Uh, uh, Brooks, I would say stock standard save. Yeah. You know, gets down, butterfly, gobble, gobble, no rebound, and we will have a face-off now just to the right of Mr. Brooks. Now, if Hurley can't come back, this is where you, you really miss having uh, Daniel Van Stickel. Couldn't come down this weekend because of the illness. But, uh, oh, that's oh, that's tough. First six games of the season, the Stickler has been a uh, very noticeable player out there. So hopefully you're watching Stickle. Well, uh, speedy recovery, and hopefully you're back on the ice uh, in a nick of time. Oh, look at this. What a save by Brooks. East to west in an uh, uh, instant. That was a great play. I think uh, he probably took note from the last power play goal, and uh, he said, not, not this time, boys, not this time. And that's the swarm. Possession, tape-to-tape -tape pass, using that big ice. Uh, good power play so far by yeah. the Swarm. Good puck movement, although not a great chase here. Not showing a lot of, and there you go. And that's what happens when you get lazy. Uh, there was no hustle to the puck. Oh, hopefully he's okay. And Remy Sandoy will now go to the box. Uh, I'm going to go with either interference, yeah. and that will be the call. Interference it is. It's not, not a play you want to be taken as a... As a coach, you're, you're on the power play. You have possession. Yeah. The guy's not doing anything. Your goalie was giving you the puck. Mm -hmm. You just had to skate to it. Um, and you, yeah, well, that's, you know. The, the viewers probably did see the cheeky little jersey tug by Lockie Freer. Just that gamesmanship, the old game within the game. That's right. <laughs> that's it's, right. It's one of those ones where 2-1 game, third period, you just have to eat that. All right, shot from the point from Amsterdam. It gets deflected, goes out of play. And we have a face-off to the right of the Swarm goaltender, Matt Canada. Now, if McCog wins this draw, expect the Stampede to rag the puck for the next 11 seconds, allowing Burns to hop in there for that five-on-four. But Makes they sense. lost, so and don't worry about that. Swarm <laughs> win. Uh, all right, Hopkinson um, oh, decides to 
circle back. He makes cross ice pass to Tuller. Tuller around one. Skates in Ooh. and great shot and a, an even better save by Brooks. Uh, sticking the pad out, sneaky shot along the ice. Those can be tough for, yeah. to save for the goalie. That's a, that's a skill that's a, a very hard one to learn, but also a tough one to teach is shooting while in stride. Goalies never expect it. As you can see, Brooksy was uh, caught off guard. but Well, he was cutting across the other way, yeah. and then he threw the puck. Yeah, yeah. he has got his, his skating's, oh. I mean, he's European, so he's going to have great skating. He he's does. got some good hands. He's got great skating. He's got a decent yeah. beard, so you know he's he does. total package. That's right. <laughs> the, the beard. Oh, look at this play. Oh, nice save by Canada. He just sort of ran out of real estate, yeah. unfortunately, there. True. But what a, uh, yeah, great play, great pass and play by the Stampede there. Just a little bit of uh, all Swedish, no finish. Uh, it's not much you can do when yeah. you really have, like, a square inch mm -hmm. of net to shoot at. But um, good on him for getting the puck on net. All right, Freer with the win. Stampede control. Uh, Mike McRae going up high. Burns with the shot. It gets deflected off a swarm defender, so, and it goes into the netting, so the faceoff will remain inside the swarm zone. Good block there by Pickers or Pickens? Uh, uh, Puckett. Puckett. I knew it was a P. That's right. That's right. Yes. No, um, another good old Canadian boy. Yeah. Made his way out here before uh, the lockdown hit. All he right. He was one of the handful of swarm that stayed in Queenstown. Did some skiing, I believe. Oh, right, yeah. I, <laughs> well, you got to take advantage, right? Well, you, you know, you get to see the country as an NZ. Oh, look at that. It just, oh, and uh, potentially very lucky Puckett does not pick up a tripping penalty. Uh, and again, lucky not to pick up a tripping penalty. And Andy, hey, throwing the body down. Swarm protecting uh, the goalie here. Blocking shots, taking one. Oh, no, that didn't work out. Taking a page out of the stampede book by blocking all the shots they can. Puck it, holding on to the puck as long as he could. He loses it and burns up to McCray. McCray dumps it in. It goes around behind the net. Uh, Tula there picks it up off to Mawson. Mawson couldn't quite get it out, but he chips it off the boards to Hopkins, and Hopkinson one on three. He cuts to the outside with the Just shot the going outside. back inside. Not bad. Uh, but missed the net, and the Stampede pick it up and hold it for control. Harrison going far side to Amston. Amston has to turn back, gives it to Burns behind the net. Burns going back to Amston far side, uh, but it's tidied up by Carson Pratt. Carson Pratt through the neutral zone and takes a huge hit by Kozak. Uh, Kyle Janssen picks up the puck. And he skates it into the corner, takes the hit from the defender. Kozak picks it up, gives it high to Moss. And Moss with the shot, and Brooks with the save. Johnson there waiting for the rebound, but there is none. And Brooks holds on. Uh, that was a big hit there. Uh, yeah. It was a Carson Pratt at center ice that yeah. took that hit. Oof. As, um. a, as a defensive player, that's... It's, it's a play that you want to see as someone coming across the ice with their head down. You want you want to lay them out. It's not necessarily what people want to see all the time, but a big hit's always a good hit. I, I, it's a clean hit. There was nothing very no, no, no malice. No. Separate the puck from the body. I just felt bad for him because he did. He couldn't. He couldn't. Uh, there was somebody already on yeah. him. He couldn't uh, like s skate away. Especially on the big ice, it's it's less and less prevalent seeing those big ice hits. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. As a fan or as a player, you love seeing them. You just hate it when it's on you. Well, the <laughs> it, and and folks, here's the thing though. It you always there's you know you're always going to get smoked yeah. at least once, right? In oh, your yeah. in your career, right? Uh, even as you know the biggest player on the ice, you're always going to get it at least once in your career. So yeah, a humble pie is eaten by everybody at some point. Oh, oh Tuller with the shot. I think that missed the net and went off the end boards and ricochets back into the swarm. At Brooks might have actually saved that. I don't know, but either way, Mawson up to Polozov. Polozov hands it to Atwell. Atwell, Gretzky turns, gives it to Polozov. He didn't know. And who was it? Uh, True. 
attempted to clear, but Swarm keep it in, pulls off, comes out from the corner, spins off his check. Uh, he was looking to give it down low to Vortnoff, but a great defensive play there by the Stampede, and it comes back out. Swarm pick it up behind their uh, their net. Simon up to Vortnoff. Vortnoff trying to split the D. Uh, holds on. Goes far side to tap in. Tap in. Ooh. Oh, looking for Whiston Lee. Whiston Lee looking for Max Hill. Unable to finish that one off. That was close. And the Stampede pick it up. If True. You're a, if you're a Swarm fan, it's good to see Simon and tap it out there for that shift against the Stampede first line, holding their own. Uh, Puckett picks it up, off to Whiston Lee. Whiston Lee avoids a check, loses the puck in the process. Uh, Harrison picks it up in his own zone, being hounded there by Max Hill. Max Hill, or excuse me, Harrison, uh, loses the puck, goes into the swarm end. Uh, Sandoy picks it up. And he hands it off to Janssen. Out of his reach, it looks like we may have a penalty here. No. Net's, net's off, so. The net is off, off, right. So we will have a face off at center ice as the whistle was blown as it was at center ice. That's that's my guess, that's why it's there. With 10 minutes to go now, you're. Uh, like, why wouldn't the referee have just put the net back on? Or, or the goaltender. It's always or a the, question right, to ask. Right. It's off by less than an inch. The puck was almost in the other zone. Uh, but anyways, oh, we pick up play. Face off one by the Swarm. Steph Tuller picks it up. He gives it to Kozak. Kozak shoots and scores. Off the face off, Steph Tuller pounces on the puck. Makes a great pass to Kozak. And Kozak goes far side under the glove over the pad. And we have a three to one game here. And, and that right there is home bodies taking care of tired away bodies. That's Which right. You saw it last Saturday. T tight game against the Red Devils and then third period swarm ran away with it. And then, well look, let, try not to get ahead of ourselves here as well as much as I'd like to see the swarm win and hand the Stampede their first loss of the season. There's 10 minutes yeah. left in this game. A lot, lot of hockey left. Yes, indeed. Um, and if there's any team that can do this, uh, look, one goal and you're right back yeah. in, right? Uh, the wins are back in your sails. Um, two so shots, one good shift. Two that's good right, shifts. that's right. But if the Swarm throw one more down, that takes a yeah. lot of wind out of your sails being down 4-1. to one. So it would be interesting to see how the next five minutes go. How will the Stampede respond here? That's good for both teams. You have the Stampede who aren't necessarily used to being down by two, but you also have the Swarm who... Aren't used to being up for, by two against for the four or five years. They haven't had a lead against the, the Stampede for two goals, so it's well, it's a bit like you're holding your breath, right? You know, yeah. It, for one team, the clock can't wind down fast enough, and the other team, it's winding down way too fast. It's just like a power play in a PK. Oh, it's already it's already a minute to go. <laughs> That's whereas right. what? PK, you're like there's, there's only a minute a, gone. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ollie Hay with the puck uh, off to Atwell. Atwell deflects it in and he goes for the chase. Burns off the boards to True. No, not True, excuse me. Uh, whoever it was, but it ended up with Vortnoff with a shot. McCog. Is it McCog? Yes, it yeah. was McCog. Dumps it in and chasing in the corner is the other McCog. The other McCog. McCog to McCog. We got McCog a power squared. play coming up. And oh, penalty coming up to the swarm. And great control here by uh, uh, Harrison. And that will about do it there. Mawson, <laughs> he Wasn't saw it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he just saw a breakaway and uh, looked up. Uh, so let's see what we got here. It will be Josh Whiston Lee going to the box for the swarm. Cross check. For cross checking. This There's is been a bit of a crackdown with yeah. cross checking, uh, both in uh, uh, IWHF and the NHL. Yeah. Um, and I, justly so. I think defensemen have been getting away with murder in front of the net. Oh, yeah. Oh. So this is a carbon copy of two weeks ago. 3 oh. 1. Get a PK. Right. Keeps it. Keeps it tight. 
You get a power play goal. New game. Obviously, it was tape, right. tables returned. It was 3-1 Stampede right. at that time. They scored to go up 4-1. But right now, if they can kill it, that takes it down to six minutes, up by, by two. Up by two, that's right. Stampede uh, score, down by one with seven minutes. That's right. Yes, you start really getting nervous. All right, Amston going far side to McRae. McRae with the one-timer. Canada over to make the save, but uh, wasn't able to sort of cover the puck up, the rebound there for a moment. And Canada, his foot kicked it off, so as you see. All right, so no change by the Swarm. Tyler yep. has, has some more, product of Gore. Said no change. Very observant. I didn't, okay, all right. I, now that I know, yeah. yeah, I will be seeing that more often. You can't unsee these things now, folks. No. It's ingrained now. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh. what a shot. And now Amston hammers it off, or hammers it from the point off the shoulder of Canada. I think he got a piece of it. but so it, Steph's got a good shot, but having that deflect off Commons. It was Commons, right. Okay, it was Commons. Excuse me. And there we go. Eight minutes to go. One goal game. Well, now you've got a huge momentum shift, yeah. right? Uh, look, I'm looking at the shots on net. Swarm up 43 shots. That's pretty big, but they've also allowed 30 yeah. shots, right? I, I always joke around. It's the only thing I've ever seen that averages 80 shots every game. I don't, I don't know if it's the shot takers. <laughs> right. If the players are oh. just crazy shooting pucks all the time or what it is, but normally it's 30-20, 30-25. That's right. That's exactly, Here yeah. Here it's 50-40. Yeah. Stats are just getting pumped. <laughs> Goalies love it. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's right. Uh, which, which, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I was just say Mawson with a monster slap shot uh, and uh, Brooks with a great save there. Making it look easy, just being in position. And for those who didn't catch it, we're both from Canada, so we both said, sorry, you go. That's right. <laughs> no, no, you first. Yeah. Uh, all right, Amston. Uh, Trying to rush there, but lo lost it just behind the net. But uh, given back to him, and he makes a fantastic pass. Uh, excuse me, I guess it wasn't Amston that made the pass. He received the pass and made a great shot. Good save by Canada. Picked up in the neutral zone by Freer, who dumps it in. Mawson picks it up, goes behind the net. Uh, turns off a check, makes the pass off to Tuller. Tuller skates it out of the zone. Skates it into the zone. Makes the shot on net, and Brooks makes an easy save. When when you're on this size of ice, having two-color skating ability as a defenseman, such a game changer. Right there, three strides, boom. Over the red line, dump it in if you're tired. Gain the blue if you want. Him, he's, he's got a good shot, too. Ha yeah. Having him on the swarm this year. He played last year as well, but he's more effective this year. I think he's just gained a lot more confidence. Mm -hmm. He was also one of the uh, the swarm to stick around in Queenstown. The, doesn't, right, doesn't surprise me. No, from the Swiss, skiing. Oh yeah, no absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's just like home. No, yeah. it's not. But yeah, it's about as close as you're gonna get. Yeah, it's got th three lifts. It's not, not, not the three hundred that you're used to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I did the remarkables when I was a swarm in Queenstown, so I have done that myself. Right of passage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um. There is the, I want to say it's like the bar to go to after an NZIHL game where the roof lifts up. Oh, uh, yeah, Winnie's. That's where all the teenagers go. Is, is it Winnie's? Yeah. Right. I, uh, yes, this was 20 years ago. Um, no, probably not that long. But, oh, oh, that caught Canada's oh. attention. And we will have a penalty for a slash here. Harrison, oh. he's kind of surprised by that. He just sort of skated past. I don't know. Uh, well, and here we go, folks. The Swarm back on the power play now with an unfortunate drive-by by Harrison. He finds himself uh, getting two minutes for a slash. Yeah, that's uh, as a Swarm, you like it. As a Stampede, you don't. End of the day, like uh, Dave and I were saying, being a ref's not an easy job. It's split second. Oh. Tyler thought he saw it, so he called it. That's right. That's right. Uh, look, and oh, 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 that was lucky. Uh, Tyler's a good ref, absolutely. Yeah. He, he communicates well with the players. He's one of the refs where if you give it to him and you give it back. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see many two-front sportsmen like or 10 because no. 
he understands it's an emotional that's game. That's right. That's right. Well, I, you know, he refs our senior, you know, game, the old man hockey. And I give it to him as much as he gives it to me. So it's, it's a love-hate yeah. relationship. But I definitely a lot of respect for him. He's a great referee. And, look, great referees are hard to come by. Oh, yeah. They are hard to come by. Okay, the Swarm followers making some noise here on the power play. Mawson with the play or the puck in the slot, unable to get it on net. Ollie Hay dumps it into the corner. Uh, Michael Atwell unable to gain control. And do we have a no? We do not. Amston or no? Excuse me. True. Lucky there, or maybe not. It was all planned. Uh, looked like the puck might have come straight yeah. out, but no. Five and a quarter, same thing as the uh, Stampede power play. One minute to go on the power play. Score here. Five minutes to go, oh, four and a half to oh. go. It's a two-goal game. That's it's hard right. to come back from, but... That's right. Stampede got this kill. Momentum. Yep. Oh, look at this. Oh, nope. Get too many. Yep, no shots. All right. Control is kept. Pulls off behind the net. Great stick there by Burns to break that play up. Oh, this could be, no, all right, Ollie Hay across to Sandoy. Sandoy turns back. Surveying his options, goes to D to D to Ollie Hay, who goes low in the zone. He's looking to center. Oh, my goodness. Nearly uh, from my angle, that didn't, <laughs> that didn't look good. But it's behind the net. Hopkinson uh, looking to pull his off, pull his off, up high to Sandoy. Sandoy fakes the shot, goes to pull his off, pulls off with a shot through a screen. Nice save there by Brooks. Um, Hopkinson skates over the circle, drops it to the point, goes down low to pull his off, back up high to Sandoy. Sandoy with the shot, fans on it, but picked up by oh. Ollie Hay, and then pull his off, uh, shot it wide, and it is cleared, and we are back to five on five hockey. Power play is over. Three to two still with four minutes left in regulation. Mawson circles the puck, goes behind the net, avoids a check from Harrison, and he gives it to Sandoy. Oh, this is dangerous pass in, in the swarm end here. Harrison with the four check, giving Mawson the business, forcing Mawson with the turnover. It gets cleared back into the stampede end, and now to possession turnover. Stampede with the puck. Amston with a great pass up to McRae. It's two on two here. McRae looking to the middle and it gets oh. it off to uh, Freer, who gets knocked off the puck. And oh, that is a Atwell. great defensive effort by Kozak right there. Uh, Tuller picks up the puck, holds on to it. He comes back behind his own net, keeping possession. Smart play here. And he goes up the middle to Bortnoff. One on four. Bortnoff holds on to the puck, goes behind the net, keeps a hold of it, skates out to the dot, uh, centering feed, but it goes through everyone, and it's picked up by McRae, uh, who dumps it into the neutral zone, but it's intercepted there by the Swarm. Tuller dumps it in, ooh, ooh. and uh, Brooks to unable to handle the dump in there. Fortunately, it was going wide. Carson Pratt picks it up in the neutral zone, almost puts himself, and he does put himself offside. And he's probably not too happy about that, but that is hockey for you, folks. Yeah, it's one of those struggling too much, you know, get that, get the zone. Well, you're thinking, yes, I need to get yeah. in the zone. There's two guys waiting for me, and yeah. Oh, it looks like we got a timeout called here by the Stampede. 2.42 to go. So Coach Cam calling the troops in. And just while this timeout's going on, just want to confirm that the Red Devils did win 7-4 tonight. Oh, snap. So that puts them at 16 points, and they're now, they're now in second place in the standings. Oh, I feel bad for the Thunder. They're still looking for their first win yeah. of the season, right? Um, but I I got to give it to Canterbury. Uh, having seen them do that mm -hmm. to the Swarm last week, yeah. I got a respect for them, mad respect. They're a young team. They got the right sort of sprinkle of Youth veteran and, presence. Yeah. But uh, in the next few years, they are going to be dangerous. Yeah, losing a, pair, a player like Paris definitely hurt the Thunder. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. the fact that a lot of the kids are uni students, so you're there for two to four years, then you go Come back home. So That's it's, right. Yeah. It's hard to truly build a 
a culture, a foundation. A yes, that's right. All right, uh, Ollie Hay with the lead pass. He's going to Janssen. Uh, Brooks has to come out and make the play. And Freer takes the puck over the blue line and dumps it in down low, goes for the chase. Uh, Ollie Hay there with the hit, and it's picked up by Kozak. Kozak sort of gingerly skating, looks for the pass, makes it to Janssen. Janssen off to Hopkinson. Great block there by Freer. Uh, excuse me, Burns, who's had an amazing game. Very active. Uh, Kozak uh, dumping the puck into the corner. Stampede pick it up. You got to think if they get the zone with possession, uh, you're going to see Aston Brooks coming to the bench. Yes, it can't be too far away. He, he's looking at the bench right now. Uh, Amston gives it to McRae. McRae, oh, looking for Freer along the blue line. Good stick and by Vortnoff. Vortnoff. Picks it up over the blue line, and what a play. Great pass, nice sauce over to Polozov. Probably didn't get all he wanted on it, but regardless, uh, Brooks with an amazing save to keep this a one-goal game. Very nearly an off-to-off -off goal there. We got a buck 27 left here. 50 shots on net for the Swarm to the Stampede's 31. That is absolutely ridiculous, There's that folks. 80 shots. You know? <laughs> that is Every insane. game you get 80. What is going on here? Look, look at the uh, Christchurch Thunder game. 81 shots. 81 That's shots. Well. It doesn't matter what the score is. You're getting over 900 save percentage. I guess. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Stampede. Oh. Uh, I was, who is that? Tr uh, True gets run over by Hay. But it's kept in at the line. We got a penalty coming up here. Pole is off with the hook on Harrison. And Polozov, with a minute four left in the game, is going to take what I would probably say is an unnecessary yeah. penalty. And just and before that, you had Ollie Hay truck Mitch Freer. Oof. It's, a, it's a play that it's in that gray area. Does he take more than three strikes? Well, that's right. Could is that he, have been a charge? the puck yeah, or is he just exactly. trying to lay a guy Exactly. Out? Yeah. It did look a bit like that. If it goes either way, uh, it's, it's gray area. Well, if the that's Stampede right. Make the hit, it's that's a gray area. Right. If the Swarm make the hit. But that's all he hates. He yeah. will always take the body before he will take the puck. Um, and, I mean, as a Canadian, that's what I was oh, taught, yeah. right? Um, he, pl uh, he plays perfectly on that line. Oh, look at this. And there oh, goes. look at this. Shot from the point. It gets deflected and goes over Canada for the tying goal. I believe that's... Callum Burns taking Callum his Burns. 15th shot of the night. Well deserved. Yeah. He has been all over the ice tonight. And I'll bring up two weeks ago again. That's a carbon copy. If you watch that game, <laughs> McCray on the half wall over you to Burns. You just reminded me of the water boy yeah. where the water boy's girlfriend <laughs> told him, no, this is the score. Yeah. And then he looks at her. Yeah. yeah. That, that's just what happened here, folks. Obviously, Two Colin weeks ago, and I locked eyes it was clean. <laughs> it right. went top block. That's right. Today, I don't know if Canada saved it or who it went off of. I, but I don't know. Yes, uh, I do know it went in though. And that, that's Callum Burns. He doesn't want the da the dangler to be the uh, the leading defensive goal scorer. Goal's a goal. It doesn't need to be pretty, right? I almost called him Daigle like you did back in the day. <laughs> but all right, last minute. Actually, we're down to 40 seconds yeah. here. Swarm ice the puck which is never a good thing in the last minute. And that right there is special teams. That's why teams rely on it. That's two power play goals in the last nine minutes. We were talking about this nine minutes ago. It's three to one, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. It's never out of reach for any team. Swarm missed or failed to uh, capitalize on their power play. And uh, here we are, three all. And that's just the, the game within the game. You have to have the emotion. You can't get too high when you score. Can't get too low when you get scored on. It is a tough balance. All right, everybody's screaming. Pass it up, blah, blah, blah. 26 seconds left in the game, or in regulation anyways, excuse me. Oh, uh oh, look at this. Kozak picks it up, gives it back to Sandoy. Sandoy up the middle. It's deflected Ooh. onto the net. <laughs> and uh, I don't know who plays <laughs> video games, but that was like <laughs> my controller's broken. <laughs> That made me very nervous as well. 
Um, and that will be a hand pass, and we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone so here. But I think there's no question <laughs> that we're going to overtime. <laughs> have the Swarm played overtime yet this season? I don't believe so. Because they, they no, lost, to Auckland, lost to so. Auckland, lost to Auckland, beat Auckland, beat Auckland, yeah. lost to Queenstown, lost to Queenstown, one loss. One loss, yeah. So no, this, I don't This will be so. the first post-regulation time game for both teams. For the Swarm. The last last uh, overtime game for the Stampede was the last time they won the Burgle. It was against the Admirals where... Oh, uh, so they haven't gone to overtime this since, season yet either. No, yeah. Oh, right. They overtime this year, last year. The last overtime game-winning goal was by Liam Stewart, assisted by Brian Dunford and uh, Cole McIntosh. He was an incredible talent, his, Liam Stewart. The, uh, the thing a lot of people didn't see is his change-up. He would throw it all the time in practice. He'd oh. come up, load his stick, and then yeah. just flick it over. Goalie thinks he's going for it. But that's, but that, that's talent. That's right? what happens when he, your dad can strum the guitar like that. Oh, my goodness. But in all seriousness, great guy. He's back in... Uh, He's actually in Europe right now on yeah. the on a yacht. Living, oh, right. Living the good life. Good I for him. Yeah. Follow on that Instagram Look, story daily. I often talk like when they're in town, you know, because I think Rachel was in town with him uh, at one of the games last here. Last year, her. Yeah. Yeah. They were behind the net. And, um, you know, I, you know I, wonder, I wonder what it's like. Because, look, Rod is a superstar, right? Yeah. Rod the Bod Stewart. Yeah. And his mom is, uh, she is another superstar. The Kiwi sweetheart. Right? And so, like, I picture, you know, like, the, it's just like the other half, right? Yeah. You know, like, you've got maids and butlers and, you know, you live in a mansion. It's, you're in the West Wing, honey. And, uh, but, but really, was it like that? Probably, it, I don't know. You know, that's what I mean. Like, obviously, you have certain amenities but it's more just beach volleyball go to the gym and train play hockey he's actually a phenomenal football or soccer whichever you want to say yeah. football yep. player so yep. Yep. I he, he was, grew up in england right england he split time between the england and the, the states yeah so he had to choose between football and hockey i believe at 12 13 chose hockey he's carved out a good little career i find that interesting so he because rod is you, british yeah I think it's British and U.S. Well, fair. I guess uh, Rod's uh, probably, you know, he would have made his name in England and then yeah. went to the U.S., right? And then, you know, the U.S. is where whatever the money is, so yeah. to speak. Whereas Rachel's, you know, she's Kiwi, right? Mm -hmm. But moved to the U.S. to, uh, you know, for American her career, dream. right? Yeah. Well, the American dream. <laughs> I mean, there's, we could question the American <laughs> dream these days, but uh, yes, at the time. Uh, anyway, sorry, folks. Uh, yes, uh, I often wonder what it was like for Liam in his childhood. You know, Rachel Hunter, Rod Stewart, mom and dad. I'm sure my kids look at me and my wife and go, you are you are not Rod Stewart. I play the guitar. I'm yeah. not Rod Stewart. Um, uh, you know, and I love my wife. She is Rachel Hunter in my eyes. Yeah. You know, 100%. All right, we are going three on three overtime here, folks. A lot of speed out there. A lot of size as well for the Swarm. Whew, a lot of speed. Space. This should be interesting here. Three on three. Favorite hockey in the world. Oh, here we go. McCog getting hassled there by Polozov. Oh, and he looks out front. Nobody there. Sandoy picks up the puck. It's two on two going the other way. Polozov skates it into the zone. He holds on to the puck. He falls down, but he holds on to the puck. He's a great skater, great stick handler, this Polozov guy. And he gets it to Sandoy. Sandoy looking for the shot. Polozov kicks up the rebound. And he goes to Sandoy for the win. Yeah. What a play. Canada running down. And 35 games comes to an yeah. end, Colin. And that right there is We shouldn't have been talking about it. right? <laughs> yes, yes. It all well, comes down to conditioning. Or not conditioning, positioning. You have Callum Burns on Polozov. And then Polozov leaves. You have someone else come to him. Sandoy, wide open back door. I didn't see Sandoy wide open. I yeah. was looking at Polozov. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Sandoy had the shot. It got blocked by Burns. He could, he could have went down on two knees and hit it in like a pool cue. Potent uh, right? He had that yeah. much time because we had a player in the corner, a player in the corners. It's one of those things where if you don't try it, you don't practice it, 
you truly don't know where it is, but it's simply just man on man, right? What a great game, folks. Yeah. What a great game. This is what hockey's about. That's what you expect. That's just, this is what I expected two weeks ago. That's what I expected coming in today, a yeah. tight checking. Yeah, because they lost both games back to back a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, you, likewise, I expected it to be closer as well. Although the game it was five to three one night and four to three the other night, so they were relatively close. The, the third game, the second game was four nothing. Oh, it was four yeah, nothing, yeah. right? Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, maybe I'm. Yeah, okay. It's goaltending, defense, couple goals here and there, which hopefully we see the same thing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I am looking forward to this tilt tomorrow. Uh, you know, Stampede are going to want to come back and avenge their first and only loss on the season mm -hmm. so far. And the Swarm looking to build, right? This will be a huge momentum yeah. uh, or uh, uplift in the, uh, the, what am I trying to say here, how they feel. Uh, yeah, they'll definitely have confidence coming into tomorrow. Thank you, confidence. They, they got, got the monkey off the back. They, they got that win, which did the same thing last weekend. They got that first win on Saturday. It all depends on how they come out tomorrow. The tomorrow, first that's five right. To seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. Because you know the Stampede aren't going to be happy with losing. They got a point, but you came here for three, not for that's one. That's right. That's right. Exactly. For the for the standings, it does do a little bit of justice for the Stampede. They're now they now have 19. So say they lose True. tomorrow, yeah. Christchurch wins. Yeah. Stampede still have 19. That's right. Christchurch has 19, so they'll stay in first via head to head. That's right. But the Swarm now have. 11 points? 11. No, they were on 13. So they'll, they have a chance if they win both to take a Make playoff seconds. spot. Well, yeah, that's yeah. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because the, the Admirals are at 14, so it's, it's a good one. Great game. Uh, so, look, um, I normally do this in the booth, folks, but uh, I nominate uh, the three stars of the night. Oh, yeah. Um, let's start with star number three. Who would you give that to? That's a tough uh, – I'd say he was all over the ice tonight. I'd give it to Polozov. Polozov, yeah. right? Yep. Nope. Good call. Okay. Um, and who would you go number two? He got the G-dub. He was in the right place at the right time. Remy Sandoy. Sandoy, yep. Yep. And your first star overall? I mean, you can't argue with 48 saves. 48 saves. Right. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I would have given third star to Callum Burns. Yeah, he was everywhere. Too. He was. Uh, he had an awesome game. He got the game time goal, I think, mm -hmm. uh, as well. Oh, no, that was uh, – and uh, I've got to give a notable mention to uh, Amston. He yeah. had an incredible game as well. All, all the D for both teams played really well, especially when you had Simon um, – tap in the younger players That's for the true. swarm yes yes it's, it's good to see some people might expect the level with no imports to drag a bit which it's not as high as it normally is but it gives the opportunity to kids and the, the young 20 year olds mid 20 year olds some Step 30 up. year olds that's right a chance to get ice time and that's right you're seeing them take it and run with it which is very good to see gain confidence and make yeah that's yeah. right develop their game right you're yeah. not going to get better if you don't get ice time exactly exactly uh, another notable mention is uh, Aston Brooks uh, had a great game between the pipes tonight um, it's too bad uh, I guess for him obviously um, to have the you know the score not go his way yeah. but um, that's hockey. We're back here tomorrow. Yes, sir. So, folks, uh, st st uh, join us tomorrow night, same time, same place. Uh, we are back here for a rematch. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a great game. Yeah, you're going to have a lot on the line. As as a away team, you want to get a split at minimum. Absolutely. So the Absolutely. Stampede are looking for two or three points tomorrow, so they, they leave with fifty. As a home team, you want both games. That's right. They've already given up one point. They That's don't want right. to give up That's another one. That's one point too many. Yes, So if exactly. you can take five out of six, you're going to be happy. Absolutely. Uh, Colin, thank you very much for uh, joining me here. Uh, or I, I joined you, actually. But anyways, yeah. We're both visitors right yeah. now. <laughs> That's right. Uh, folks, uh, yes, uh, don't need to go home. You're probably already at home. But, uh, yeah, come join us tomorrow night. Uh, five o'clock, the puck will drop. Thank you very much for joining have a good evening. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, folks.